Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be vlogging today. We just got back from a little weekend trip to Boston. We got back last night at like 7.30. Uh, so I've been like unpacking. I went to the gym this morning, brought the kids to school, and just kind of trying to get settled back in. All of this behind me is what I purchased on our trip. Emily and I, we went with my, my younger brother and my sister-in-law, and all her and I wanted to do on the trip pretty much was shop around so we went to Newbury Street on Saturday and we shopped for like four hours something like that and we did some damage so I'm gonna show you what I picked up while we were there but I just want to do some really quick clean simple makeup today because I'm just like I said trying to catch up but I do want to feel a little bit more put together so I'm gonna do my three to five minute Merit makeup routine I do want to thank Merit for sponsoring this portion of today's video you guys have heard me rave about Merit before. I absolutely love the brand. I love their mission and I love their products. They provide makeup that's clean and simple and very, very minimal. So you really just need to pick up one of everything and you have a full kit, everything you need to create a five minute makeup look every single day. Also, if you've never purchased from Merit, your first order comes with their signature bag, which I don't have with me. I think I packed it away um, for our move, but I'll pop a picture of it here because it is such a cute bag ties in a little knot and then when you open it it opens up really wide so you can see all of your makeup another thing i really love about their products is that they put in skin loving ingredients into all of their products so your skin is benefiting from them as you wear them so not only do you feel fresh and light and pretty wearing their makeup but your skin is really benefiting from it and they also avoid ingredients that can cause acne like that are more acne prone which I've never had an issue with their products. I've never broken out from anything I've used. Yeah, if you're looking for just good quality, clean, simple minimalist makeup, I highly recommend Merit. I'll leave um, the link and everything down below for you guys. So first I'm gonna go in with their foundation stick. So I have multiple shades here, sand, linen, and suede. I have no idea what color I am right now because I'm like mid self tan. Okay, so this one is in the color suede. I'm just gonna kind of swipe that on. I think this one's actually pretty good but I'm gonna go in with linen as well just to wowie that's light we're really gonna have to blend that in so this is the merit brush again you guys have probably heard me rave about this because it is the best makeup brush I've ever used in my life let's get a close-up It's not a joke. It is not a joke. It's honestly unreal. I use this makeup brush every single day. I do not like applying foundation with a brush really like at all, but I do with this brush. This is the only exception. That is it. If you want more coverage, it is buildable. And a little bit of linen just under my eyes to brighten up that area. Okay. Same brush. Again, all in real time, guys. I'm just blown away every single time I reach back for this uh, routine, which I do this routine probably once a week. Um, when again, I just want like something really quick, really simple but pretty fresh and kind of foolproof. Like you put minimal effort into applying these products as well, which I really appreciate. So then I'm then gonna go in with the Merit Bronzing Stick. This is in the color Quincy, Quincy, Quince. I'm gonna do it on my high cheekbone. Not high, my low cheekbone, not quite in the hollow, but like just under my cheekbone. A little bit up here, a little down there. My self tan is a mess on my neck. Actually, I'll do a little bit on my lids too. That's pretty on the lid. Oh, I love that on the lids. That's like really pretty. It's just a really subtle light wash of color. And I love the finish of it. It's very skin-like, which all of their products are. 
but yeah, that's pretty on the lids. I love that. Going in with a little bit of blush. I like to dip it in the product and then on my face, but my mom was using the Merit blush for a while and she would like swipe it right on her face. So it's really um, up to your preference. Same with the highlight, I like to dip it onto my brush or dab my brush on the product and then apply it. So I usually use the Merit Brow Gel. I'm not sure where it's at, so I'm just gonna throw on a clear brow gel and then do my mascara. All right, brows are done. I'm gonna go in with the Merit Mascara. This is the Clean Lash Mascara. It is 10 out of 10, best mascara I've ever, ever used for like a natural, fluffy, real, but bold lash. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a really, really great mascara. I do like doubling up with like a thicker, chunkier one because I like my eyelashes really, really intense and in your face, but for days like this and for just like a daily basis, I've been grabbing for this more and more and it's been a holy grail of mine. I've probably repurchased this like five times. Uh, this is just a little travel mini size, by the way, like a little sample size. Um, they do make it in the full size, but I will show you. So here's my natural lash. So let's go ahead and apply this. I do it in coats, so I'll show you coat by coat. Again, quick and easy to apply, and just as a side note, this one is almost empty, like she's almost dry, but still 10 out of 10, so I'll show you. There's one coat. Fluffy, natural, definitely can tell the difference. One coat on both, let's go in with coat number two. Two coats, all right, three coats. I'm gonna stop there. I think they look flawless. It feels so light, everything feels so light on my skin, on my eyes. It honestly feels like I'm not wearing any makeup at all, which I love. So now I'm gonna go in with one of their lip, what are these, lip tint oils? Tinted lip oils, and I have the color Sangria, Taupe, and Marrakech. I don't know how to pronounce that, but what are we feeling today? I think I'm gonna go in with Taupe. Just feel like it goes the best with my top. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Mm. These feel so nice on your lips. All right, three to five minute makeup, done. Let's get some close-ups just to solidify how beautiful this makeup is. You cannot fake that, that is no filter. It's all the makeup. It's not my skin, my skin does not look like that with makeup on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in to my haul. I'm gonna try to link everything for you guys. There might be some items I can't link. Um, mostly because I shopped at H&M and Zara and sometimes I have a hard time linking those things. I also shopped at Ikea, which I've never linked things from before. So I'm going to run through this quick because I also have a large PR unboxing to do. So we've got a lot of things to run through. Also, oh, I got my lunch on my shirt. It's like a little dot. And then I used a baby wipe to try to get it off. And now it's left a big mark. But I am going to share this bodysuit with you guys because that's part of my PR unboxing. But let's do the haul portion all right, so H&M first. I got these for the kids. I was looking for sunglasses, and I pulled some for Ellie, and then Emily was like, oh my god, there's aviators, and I saw that they had two in the kids' sizes. Had to get them matching. They're so freaking cute. I then grabbed this two-pack of shorts for Knox. They say, enjoy the moment. It's just like a charcoal black pair, and then this little, like, washed, kind of acid-washed gray pair. Super cute, and I always size down for him because he is definitely smaller around the waist, but I like that these looked like they had good length but aren't going to be capris on him. I then picked up two of these dresses for Ellie because they're like a nice soft like jersey cotton material but super cute and they were $9.99 so I feel like this is something that I would throw on her all the time. I love that pink shade on her and then I also grabbed the cream for her as well. Honestly I might put those in an Easter basket along with this dress because I feel like they just look so Eastery and springy but got her this one as well and I thought it was super cute. It's got little flowers on it, and buttons on the back. Then I grabbed this pack of socks for the gym. I got 
some nice cute high ones to go with my sneaks. And then I grabbed one of these tanks. These were $9.99. Very similar to what I'm wearing. Uh, what I'm wearing is a bodysuit, but this is just like a crop tank. It's a nice rib material and I love this color. Any of those like mauvey tones, I just love them. Surprisingly from H&M, I grabbed a pair of jeans that I really, really love. I do, I say surprisingly, I do have a couple pairs of H&M jeans, but I've just become an Abercrombie jean girl. That was hard for me to say. So I just kind of stray away from everything else. But these are like an exception to that. So these are the wide high waist. So these are like a wide leg. I got them in a US 4, which I'm normally a 0, but I always size up at H&M. So I'm usually a 2 or a 4. They are a bit loose in the waist, but in like a good way. And they're comfy and like stretchy. They're super duper comfy. Soft denim. Light wash with <laughs> some distressing and it's just a straight leg all the way down wide leg i should say but really really cute if you're looking for some good light wash jeans that are really comfortable for like every day and still look good on your bum because i know once you were ever crummy jeans i just feel like nothing makes your butt look that good so you kind of can't go back these do all the things for your bum and then i grabbed these and i'm so glad i did because i almost didn't but i just could not leave them in the store I think these are so cute. I got them in a size four. Again, they're a little bit loose in my waist, but otherwise they literally fit perfectly. Like I think once I tuck a top into this or something, the waist will not feel loose anymore. And I just love the color, the little detail on the side. All right, and then for something that I picked up right before we left from Target, I will share with you really quickly. I saw these on Instagram. Somebody mentioned these little like super cropped, it's like a bra top. Uh, kind of like bra top tank, but I love these for under things in the spring and the summer And it's like a nice layer without having to always tuck multiple layers in so cute little Simple tank very affordable five dollars and they're double like layered. There's two layers of fabric there So really comfortable flattering. I got it in black and in white. I'm gonna wear the Crap out of those okay so then I went to Abercrombie which they now have an Abercrombie on Newbury Street in Boston which is very new I believe they said that the um, YPB your personal best which is their athletic line is very very new but I don't know how new the Abercrombie is I just know that when I lived in Boston which was a while ago um, they did not have an Abercrombie on that street unless I just never noticed it because nobody shops there anymore. But regardless, there's an Abercrombie on Newberry and it's a really beautiful store, it is smaller, but because I've been putting on muscle mass and like my body's just been changing since I went to the gym, I feel like my some, some of my 24s from Abercrombie are just not fitting as well as they could. I got my favorite, hands down, favorite jeans I've ever owned in my life in the next size up. So I now have two of the exact like same pair of jeans, but in two sizes so it's kind of annoying but um, I really like the progress and stuff that I'm seeing at the gym it's just frustrating when I have jeans that I love and um, my bum doesn't fit in them anymore so I got the 90s straight curve love in a size 25 they didn't have a regular uh, length or petite length so I got it in long which is not what I need but I'm just gonna cut the bottoms anyway so because I like the frayed hem at the bottom but favorite jeans in the world. You guys have heard me mention them a million times. I bought a lot of stuff from Abercrombie, um, which I have an Abercrombie. I think I have an Abercrombie haul coming up. I placed an order right before I left for a haul. So maybe I'll just like really go through everything and share my favorites in an upcoming haul. But I also grabbed this top. Emily bought this top as well. I originally grabbed it in white, but it's hard for me to get over my head. So I was having to step into it and getting it over my bum. I was really afraid that I was going to stain the white one with all my self tanner and things that I always am wearing in the spring and summer. So I went back and grabbed the black one, but it's a really cute corset style top. It's got like the subtle puff sleeves. It's just like a good basic top to have and it's really, really pretty on. I then picked up two pairs of the mom shorts. So these are the mom short curve love size 25. These are great because they're like a little bit loose and they just look really good. They fit perfectly. I love the way they fit. I love the way they feel. I had tried the mom shorts before and I just didn't love them because they were so snug through the hip and the bum. And I guess I didn't realize, or maybe it's new that they just came out with the Curve Love uh, shorts. So they, the fit is just impeccable. I got this light wash with a little curled up hem. And then I also got the medium wash, same exact shorts, but just 
a different wash. And then one of my favorite things that I grabbed was this little set. So this is a pair of linen pants. This linen is so dreamy, soft. It's lined with this like super soft, like buttery soft cotton material. It's so nice. Feels really, really expensive. These could definitely be dress pants, but I plan to just like wear them with a band tee or um this little crop top that i got to go with it it kind of just like meets this like waist seam of those pants and it looks stunning as a set because the pants are like a straight leg to wide leg so the silhouette of it is 10 out of 10 the feel 10 out of 10 i just i don't know why i didn't get another color i'm literally obsessed with that i also got another bodysuit because abercrombie bodysuits are just like where it's at other than these amazon ones that i'm wearing like you can pick your price point is all I'll say with that. But I got this really pretty brown shade. And this is in like a slippery, almost like a bathing suit feeling material. That's a really bad description. But it's nice. It's not like the cotton ones that I already own. I actually almost prefer this one. It's more comfortable. And all the other items I mentioned I got in an extra small, my true size. And they fit perfectly along with this. It, normally I say to size up in their body suits. And that one, I don't think you have to. When we went to do our return, we walked through the YPB, which is the Your Personal Best, their athletic line for Abercrombie, and I saw this jumpsuit, and I'm like, I have to have it. It was expensive, but I think I'm gonna wear it all the time. It's super cute, but it's got a built-in bra, built-in cups. It's a, such a buttery, stretchy, like, compressive material that I think it's gonna be so flattering. But it's like a halter neck, cute little detail going on in the back, again. I think I'm gonna include all this in a haul, a try on haul, but what I love about this jumpsuit is it is flare leg. So I feel like this would be so sinky cute with like a little crop sweatshirt over the top and some sneakers as a day look or like a little button up shirt, a little cardigan, whatever. Like I just, I see myself wearing this a lot. Updates to come, trials to come for the Abercrombie stuff. Let me grab the rest of it. Okay, so also right before we left for our trip, I placed an order on Elta, so I just figured since it came in last night, I would show you guys what I grabbed. So I grabbed these shampoos. These are by Odell, I think is how you pronounce it, and I got the Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner for Weightless Moisture Shine Fullness, Sulfate-Free, 100% Natural Fragrance. First of all, love the branding and the packaging. It's just minimalistic, simple, pretty, looks nice in your shower, but also this brand avoids a lot of bad products and they really use good ingredients in their products. And I noticed that on the Ulta website, they had almost five stars. So definitely wanted to give them a go. Oh, also it's super affordable. It was like $13 or something for each bottle, which I feel like for a good shampoo and conditioner, I have no problem spending. That's like nothing um, compared to other shampoos and conditioners I've bought. So hopefully I love those. I do really like the smell. Uh, it's pretty subtle, like it's not an overwhelming scent at all. I also picked up their dry shampoo, which is really cool because again, it's not in an aerosol bottle, which I'm really trying to avoid. And they avoid sulfates and parabens and synthetic fragrances. Like they really try to use the best ingredients in here. So let me just give you a quick demo on how this works. I'm scared because I haven't tried it yet. Oh, and it smells so refreshing. I love how it applies though. I think that's genius. I'm not super in need of dry shampoo right at the moment because I did wash my hair yesterday. Although it looks kind of slick. I think it's because I didn't add heat to it and then I went to the gym this morning so the sweat like soaked in and not a great look. I feel no residue at all. I definitely feel like that just added volume to my hair somehow. I barely even put any in and I love the scent. Great first impressions on that. I'm excited. <laughs> I am not mad at that. And then lastly, I picked up the Bali Body Gradual Tan. I've been wanting a really good gradual tanner. Um, I have my self tanner, which is like a real self tanner, but it's not a gradual. So when I use my self tanner, I like to then for a couple days use a gradual tanner when it starts to wear off and it just prolongs my tan a lot longer. But um, we're not sure. I think we're going to, I think we're going to relaunch the self tanner, not relaunch, but keep it stocked so that you guys can order again because I've been getting a lot of questions on it and we didn't know if we were going to restock it or keep it as like a limited edition so I think we are going to restock but I'll keep you guys updated and I'm excited to try this. Next I went to 
Zara. So uh, I grabbed some things for the kids, some things for myself. Let's do the kids really quickly. So I love Zara, but we don't have one near us at all, like nowhere in the state, which is such a bummer because it is really a great store, but I do find it kind of hard to shop on their website. It's just like a little bit, I don't know. So anyway, I was happy to get to one, but I grabbed these for the kids, these little rain jackets. How cute are these? They're in this like dusty blue color. I got them matching ones and I'm gonna put them in their Easter baskets, I think, but they feel like really great quality. It's got the little reflector on the back. They're a nice length and they were $35.90. So I felt like that was a really great price and I just really liked the shape that they were gender neutral too. So our future baby or babies can rewear these and I know they'll be excited to match. Then for Ellie Girl, I found these pants, which they did have a matching sweater to go with it, but it was like a long bell sleeve and I just thought, that's gonna drive her nuts, but I had to have the pants for her. Are you joking? How stinking cute are these? And they have little shorts on the inside, so her legs show like at the bottom, um, but they have little shorts in here, and I just couldn't. The quality of Zara's stuff too is just really great. And then I also grabbed a perfume, which I'm gonna put on because Braxton got sprayed by a skunk on Friday, Thursday, and we just all reek, so. Yes, I got this, and this is in the Tuberos, 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 I'm not sure how you say that. This humongous bottle the size of my head was $25.90, guys, and it smells like an expensive designer perfume. Mm. It's definitely florally, florally, which isn't my normal go-to, but I think because I used to work at Zara, for some reason this just smells like Zara to me, and it's like nostalgic, and I just liked it. Also, I think the bottle's pretty. Mm. Does not taste good. From Zara, I grabbed this little cropped, I don't even want to call it a t-shirt because that's just like a sad excuse for a t-shirt, but this cropped black little top and this fabric is like buttery, sheer, stretchy, cannot even feel it on your body. And I thought that this would be really nice to wear to the gym over a cute little sports bra with, um, my leggings because again it's just like a little bit more coverage but you truly cannot feel it on your body i also just grabbed this t-shirt this was at the register but i loved the worn look and like the curled up hems this was like 12 dollars somewhere in there got it in my true size just cute basic stuck into some jeans and then when we were waiting in line i saw a woman holding the sweater and i was like that sweater is absolutely gorgeous and I kind of assumed that it was like $80 or something. So I was like, wow, that's, I just was complimenting her. And she's like, I'm actually about to put this back. Do you want it? And she's like, it's a small. And I'm like, that's perfect. I'll totally take it off your hands, guys. This was $27. I know there's not a lot of fabric here, but just like, I mean, it looks expensive. This knit looks very expensive. It's thick. You can't even like see the quality. It's like a thick knit. And the design of it, I don't know, I just assumed it would be expensive. It's like an asymmetrical hem. It's got a slit on one side. It definitely looks like a designer item. And that's what I love about Zara. Like, just such unique pieces. I love this and cannot wait to wear it. And then another item that Emily and I actually both picked up was this little button-up. I got this in a size extra small. They had like three or four colors. It's just a cute little button-up, but it's like slightly cropped. And it comes up a little bit on the sides. But I just thought this would look really cute. You know unbuttoned with a bunch of jewelry again it's this color for me right now and then i got these pants apparently in the same color but i love these again i got these in a u.s size four so i got a size 34 which is technically a u.s four um the waist in these is quite big like probably i don't know almost two inches big in the back but emily was showing me these buttons so that you can poke through the fabric and then they have like a piece to secure it on the other side and that way you can just bring your button loop over a little bit and tighten the waist and when i did that when i was wearing them it looked like it was going to work i haven't even shown you the pants yet so anyway i plan on taking the waist in with those buttons but these fit perfectly everywhere else they're like so cute so flattering on my bum again love the color i love the cargo pockets on the side and the butt and they're just like a nice straight leg perfect with sandals or sneakers and i just love them they're super comfy and those were 46 dollars 45.90 on the way home which wasn't really on the way home because we had to go like out of the way to get there which i kind of 
started to feel bad about because I did feel like we were rushing. But I really wanted to get to Ikea while we were in Boston because we don't have one here and we're moving into the house in about a month and I just wanted to pick up some stuff. So, so the first thing that I grabbed is this cute little salad spinner. So you can like wash your lettuce in it and then spin it, but this was like $7 or something. And I like that it's in like an aesthetically pleasing container. And I grabbed blankets for each of the kids' uh, beds and their bedding. I think all of their bedding that I've purchased so far is from Ikea, because my mom and I went when we were in Boston or coming through, and I had bought the kids like new duvets and duvet covers and all of that. But I got Ellie this cute little um, knit blanket. I love this color, it's like the perfect pinky mauve and then for Knox's room I got this green one that's super textured it's definitely not showing up the correct color well I guess it is it's like a greenish gray it's really pretty okay and then for the kitchen I wanted to get all new plates and bowls and all of that because we've had ours since we got married and a lot of them are chipped and broken and we don't have a full set anymore so it's one of the things that I wanted to buy for the new house and when I was looking at Ikea they had so many nice ones but for some reason this color just kept grabbing at me so I just went for it but I got all of our dishware in this green color which I just think is so beautiful it's definitely showing up a little more green on in the viewfinder it's like a washed sage green let me take one of these out so I got eight big bowls eight small bowls eight small plates and eight large plates but look at the oh, it's so so pretty I'm really excited about those because our kitchen is all very warm toned it's super cozy and just like, I don't know, almost has that like lived in feel and I think that these will be perfect. I don't even think I spent $100 on the entire set for eight people. So next thing I got are these little like ramekin dishes. I love using these for like yogurt or um, cottage cheese. Like just when I have little snacks throughout the day, I always grab for a little bowl like this and I thought these were really cute. These were so inexpensive. They were like $2.99 a piece. Love the color, it's like a warm white. Then to go with Knox's blanket and stuff, I got these two pillows. I have multiple throw pillows for both the kids' beds and at this point, they're all in bins downstairs so I've like lost track of what I've gotten and what I haven't. So anyway, I'm def I want them to have like really cozy, curated, put together bedrooms. Like that's something that's super important to me in the new house. I just want them to finally feel fully at home and have like all of their things in one room and have it be organized and beautiful and I'm just really excited about that so I've been investing throughout the past like six months on just stuff for their rooms and I thought these would be really cute on Knox's bed um, based on the bedding I remember buying him I don't know hopefully it all comes together for the bathrooms in the new house I got these little hand towels just because I love the texture of them this color I thought was stunning I'll probably put this in our master bed, um, bathroom and then I'm loving the screen color for the kids bathroom also grabbed these coffee cups because we don't have like a set of coffee mugs at all and I'm not a hot coffee drinker but I do like a glass of tea so I grabbed four of these I didn't want to get green ones that match the set I just felt like it was too matchy matchy for me but I liked the glass ones and I walked by them I was like those are cute and then Emily's like did you see these and I'm like you know what I think that's it also for the kids bathroom I grabbed these uh, waffle knit towels i thought these were so beautiful i love the texture on them but then the inside is actually like a really nice uh like towel material terry material something that is really going to dry your skin i loved the full-size towels that were similar to this but drew and emily and kyle were like that's just gonna like rub water around it's not gonna dry you off and i'm like i know but i love the way it looks but i knew i would regret it if i bought the towel versions of these but then i saw these and i felt good about them they're really really nice and they were so inexpensive i freaking love ikea they have the best house stuff for good prices I then grabbed two of these down pillows. These are inserts for the pillow covers that I got for Knox's room. I love their down pillows. They're just perfect for throws and they're, again, so inexpensive. So I grabbed a couple of these. I have a ton of these down in the basement that I bought last time I was there. So we're going to have a lot of pillows, which I love. All right, so that is absolutely it for what I bought. <sighs> While we were in Boston. Holy smokes that I spent some money, but I was prepared. I wanted to go in and get some good basics and like staples for my closet. I feel like I hang on to pieces for too long sometimes. I do hang on to pieces for too long sometimes. So I need to go through my closet again and like just hang on to pieces that I really love. And I feel like my uh, style has changed a lot and it usually does, but 
I want to work these pieces in because all of these pieces make me really happy and I know I'm going to wear them multiple times and get rid of the ones that are not doing that for me. Okay, now for the PR portion. I've already been filming for like an hour, so it's going to be a lot of editing. I probably won't vlog a whole lot. I have so much PR to get through, so I'm just going to hop right in. Paula's Choice sent me this PR package and I'm so excited about this because it looks really, really great. It's the Pro Collagen Multi-Peptide Booster for all skin types and it shows right here. First picture, there's quite a few fine lines and then in the second picture, they seem to be a lot better and almost gone. Love Paula's Choice, excited to try that. I have um, a lot of their products in these this like dropper form and I love them. I use the uh, the niacinamide one and I use I think a vitamin C one as well and they just all seem really great. Pluto Dreamlight recently sent us this light. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you've seen us probably dancing with this on in the living room. It is so fun. The kids are absolutely obsessed with it and it's gonna go in Knox's room when we move into the new house. It lights up the room with these like really cool stars. You can change the color and it has music, timer, nightlight, meditation, ambiance, like it just, and it really does all of those things. This is definitely the best projector light that we've ever had and we've had quite a few for his room that end up getting like broken or they don't last long or whatever. This one feels and um, just like looks really high quality and the way that it works and everything is just super user friendly. We've been loving this. So if you have a little one's birthday or anything coming up, Elodie loves it too. Like she's gonna beg for one in her room so we'll need to get another one but so a company called Cecilia New York had reached out to me to ask if I wanted to try out some of their shoes. They have a really, really beautiful designer shoes at a fairly affordable price. So they're around like $200, $300 a pair. So yes, that's very expensive. But like I said, they're like designer looking shoes. So I picked out these ones, which are, what are these ones called? I'm going to put it on the screen. It starts with an F. I want to think of it on my own, but I don't think my brain's going to be able to do it today. <laughs> These are so beautiful. I took a sneak peek at them the other day. They're like this two-toned pink heel. How cute are these? I cannot wait to wear these with the right outfit. I think they're so adorable. The quality feels great. It's got the beautiful little emblem on the bottom. And they had a ton of different shoes in different colors. And some really fun styles. I just, I like that these are two-toned. I think it's really different and cool. Packaging was nice too, like the box feels really nice. Really pretty. Next, I got a package from the company phoneloops.com. So there are these little loops that you like loop under your case. And then when you're holding your phone, like this which honestly I feel like I might really like so they sent me one that says getting shit done which is so cute just plain black one and then this like brownish purple kind of leather one and then Vegamore sent me a package so I bought new shampoo like I said because I wanted to try it I wanted something volumizing um, my hair right now I feel like is pretty healthy I don't have much like bright blonde in it so it's a lot of my natural color and it's just not very damaged but Vicamore is one of my potentially my top favorite hair care company they have the best products um, in my opinion like I just love all of their hair care products and they sent me this new hydrate so it says hydrate and repair shampoo and conditioner and then it also what is this deep moisturizing repair mask I should have my mom try this while she's here. First of all, talk about the packaging. It's so beautiful and well done, but this is a splurge. This is a splurge product, but let me tell you, if you're looking for hair growth or you're looking for hydration or just anything specific for whatever hair type you have or whatever issues you're having, every single thing that I've tried by Vigamore has done exactly what it says it will do. If you really wanna splurge and you wanna get really great quality hair products, I highly recommend Vigamore. If I still have a coupon code with them, I'll put it down below. I highly recommend their products. I eat their vitamins, I do their hair oil for growth, and I've been using, I still have it in the shower right now. I'm like trying to get the most out of it, but it's their growth shampoo and conditioner. 
the best. It's so good. Also, their dry shampoo is hands down my favorite, and their um, hair foam or hair mousse. 10 out of 10. I have the entire growth line, that's what I love, but I have not tried the Hydrate. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's probably incredible. I'll link them down below. That's a splurge hair brand for you guys, and then if you wanna save money, maybe try the Odell, or follow me on Instagram, and I'll try to keep you guys updated with that. The company Laughland sent me this whitening kit. I thought this was really cute, but it's this cute little whitening kit, so it comes with feels really nice quality oh and then you get your three little treatments in there I don't know if this is like a one-time use and then you can just read or if this is like three treatments but obviously you can reuse this multiple times it's got a charger and you would just need to repurchase like the whitening formula so the branding is super cute I'll probably try this out soon and again I'll try to do it on Instagram to keep you guys updated on my Story. And then this brand, Green Revolution, had sent me um, some gel nail polishes and their gel lamp. So I'm really excited to try these. I did just get my nails done, so I'm not going to be trying this out in today's video. But their products and their branding, everything looked really beautiful. So as soon as I checked on their site, I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'll try that out. I need to paint my toenails soon. So um, maybe my, maybe I'll do that this week and try, see if I can fit my foot into this little lamp. So I got a few colors. I got like this dark red shade. Okay, I don't know exactly what the colors are called. I can't find it on the bottle, but I also got this like purpley burgundy shade. And then I got this milky white polish. This is step one. So this one must be before you paint your nails. And then step three, this is like a top coat. And then they also sent this nail polish remover without acetone. It says that it hydrates, nourishes, and soothes. So I feel like this would be good for me because my fingers are quite sensitive to nail polishes. But I've gotten a lot better since I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing it and hope that I grow out of my allergy. They also sent these little clips to remove gel polish. They also sent a cuticle oil and then their lamp to set the nail polish. I don't know why I expected it to be smaller. This is great. Oh, I thought I just broke that. This is magnetic. I love that. That looks like it's going to work really well. It has 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 99 seconds. But I can definitely fit my toes in there. So maybe I'll do my toes this week. Okay, so lastly, this company from Amazon sent me a bunch of body suits. And it is uh, the company that sent me the one that I'm wearing, which I absolutely love this. It is in a size medium, so it fits a little bit big, like my bra keeps peeking through. But the rest, I believe, are in a small, and that they fit perfectly. I love the color of this. The fabric is like a dreamy, buttery, double-layered fabric, but it's still thin and breathable, and I just really, really love this one. They also sent this white one, which I'm not going to try on today just because I don't want to get makeup all over it, but it's in this really nice, like, thicker material it's buttery and stretchy and full coverage in the bottom which is kind of nice depending on what you want to wear it with but this feels like really great quality and a good layering piece then they also sent the same one that i'm wearing but in this cream color which is beautiful i love this so much and i'll definitely be wearing it these are a thong back so you don't have to worry about panty lines again if you could only feel this fabric it's incredible and I'll show you guys in the mirror in just a second like what this looks like on and then I'll also try one of these on for you guys too because these are also the same but there are these cute little ribbed scoop neck bodysuits and these ones are like a cheeky bottom uh, but nice thick fabric rib material so they're really stretchy and I've yet to try these on but we shall see and you know I will share my honest opinion with you guys here's the cream one so let me show you the one that I have on and then I'll put this cream one on for you guys. Okay, so again, don't mind the stain if you catch a glimpse of that right front and center. But this is, again, the one in a medium, so it is a little bit big. I would say you just need to size up one size. Normally, I'd go with an extra small, but I think the small is going to be perfect. I just love them. It's so smoothing, and it's something that you could wear um, you know, to work with a blazer over the top, or it's something that you could wear with denim shorts in the summer. Just good basics to have, and they have multiple colors. All right, I was not expecting to love this one as much as I do, but it's 
super cute. I love the way that it looks like the rib material just adds um, so much texture and it makes it look more expensive. The color is great. It's not see-through. I'm not like seeing my bra through it at all. It fits perfectly. And I don't mind that it's cheeky. It actually makes it really comfortable. But if you want to kind of pull it up into a thong, you can because it's like cheeky enough. So yeah, I'm not really seeing much of a line at all. I guess I can a little bit. Uh, but you'd probably be fine in a pair of jeans. So yeah, it's a really great bodysuit. So I was planning on vlogging the rest of the day, but honestly, I have been filming for almost two hours. So I feel like that's enough content for me to just create an entire video from. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The kids I miss so dearly, and I only spent a little bit of time with them this morning. So I don't want to be vlogging later. I'd rather just spend time with them and spend time with my mom while she's here. And just like not have that extra distraction. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video. And thank you again to Merit for sponsoring today's video. Again, all of the links and everything will be down below for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.